how do you feel about the song Bad? I, we talked earlier, and I told you that I like the song Bad because it, it's really all about you. You are the baddest when it comes to uh, the record industry. Um, well, <laughs> it, it is quite different from anything I've ever recorded or I've ever written. Uh -huh. uh, it's a bold statement to say, but um, I mean it in all good will, <laughs> you know, so don't take it's it too seriously. It's a good modesty, seriously. of course. Yeah, I'm saying, um, it's like a way of saying you're cool, you're, you're, uh, you're all right, you're, you're tough. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm like criminally bad. Of sure. course, that's how people would take it. Um, it's, a, it's a bold statement to make. Mm -hmm. How about the video? The video is also, another thing on this album is that a lot of songs make social statements, and the video also does that too with bad. Uh, I know that you probably didn't experience anything like that, but my name is Daryl. Yeah, I know. And I had a, I grew up in Harlem in the South Bronx, and I went away to school, and I also had to deal with peer pressures. How did you come out about with that whole idea of doing something like that? Well, it wasn't really my idea. It's actually part of a true story where this kid tried it's to... It's my story, in a sense. Yeah, it's your story, but the truth of what really happened, uh, this kid, <laughs> tell me, Gary Frank. Let's, let's, let's do that. Hold to, on for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Tell okay. me, places. How, now, I know that you didn't write the video, but you're telling me the story is almost like the story of my life, but you're telling me that it's based on another person. Yes, it is. This kid who went to school upstate in the country, whatever, who is from the ghetto, um, and he tried to make something of his life. And he would leave his old friends behind. And when he came back um, on spring break or whatever, Thanksgiving break, his, friend be his friends became so uh, envious, jealous of him that mm -hmm. they killed him. But in the film, I don't die, of course. Yeah. So it's a true story that was we had taken from Time or Newsweek magazine. Yeah. And uh, he is a black kid like me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a sad story. But How do we. You? Mm -hmm. Pardon? How does that make you feel when you see those sad stories? Oh, something like that is very sad because it's all negative, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. I think that's life, to want to grow and become more. And Like you plant a seed and it grows into something beautiful mm -hmm. and it never dies, really. I think people should be that way.